Okay, girls, can you see that from up the back? All right, we're trying to do exercise 10.8, question 4F. They've told us that STUV is a parallelogram. Once they've told you that, you can use any property of a parallelogram that you know. Now, I'm going to actually just draw, just going to put on this diagram down here. I know it's drawn the opposite way to that parallelogram, but you tell me what you know about a parallelogram. Opposite sides, parallel. Opposite sides, equal. So I'm just putting everything on here that we know. Girls, there are other things. Opposite angles are equal. So that equals that. Also, this one there equals that. What about diagonals? No, they don't. The diagonals don't bisect. The only diagonals that bisect are with squares and rhombuses. Those diagonals bisect because the sides, all four sides are the same size. So parallelogram diagonals do not bisect the angles. But you do have alternate angles, you know. You can have alternate angles. So opposite angles are equal, but the diagonals definitely do not bisect the angles of the um, parallelogram. Um, what you could do is draw a really long parallelogram, and it will be very obvious to you that diagonals do not bisect the angles. All right. Has anyone... Um, you have to prove that triangle S, SVW, this little one over here, is congruent to triangle UTX. So what do you think you might do? So we first off, we start off saying in triangle SVW and triangle UTX. All right, what do you think you've got? Have, can you work out anything about those two triangles that are the same? Sides. Let's do the sides first, they're easier. What do, what do we know? Oh, actually, they've already given us some information already, so why don't we use what they've given us? What did they give us? W this w is all given. SW equals X. So let's do that. Put a single dash on those. We know that SW equals XU. That was definitely given because it was given in the question. This was all written down in the question. What else? Um, XW equals XT. VW. Yeah. VW equals... XT, this one's actually not a hard one. That was also given. Girls, these are going to be a little bit easy at the beginning because we're learning. And the sides are equal. Yes, now what... Sides yeah, so we are going to say that SV equals TU. Reason? Opposite what? sides of parallelogram are equal. That's right. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Am I off the screen? No, I'm not. And so therefore, triangle SVU is congruent to triangle UTX reason. We got, you can see it marked, SSS. So girls, notice as I do each thing, I put the marking on the diagram. That way you can read, it becomes like exercise 10.7. You can see that you've got SSS and whatever. So as you do each piece of information, please mark it on the diagram then it becomes very much a visual exercise for you. Okay? Miss, have we ever had questions that don't have That one's, questions? yeah, look, they're, they're going to get harder. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'll just um, find another question. Let's have a look. You, I'm happy for you to choose one from exercise question four. All right, let's do E. We're going to do exercise 10.8, question 4E. Girls, it's not too hard, but we still need to practice, okay? So I'm drawing it out here, question 4E. I've got P, S, R and Q. We are going to go one step further. All right. Can I move from the other question now? All right. This is the next question, exercise 4.8, question 4E. Whoops. Okay, this is the given information over here. The angle QPS equals angle QRS. You're also told that QS, sorry, SQ bisects angle PQR. And you are asked to prove that triangle QPS is congruent to triangle QRS. Now I'll straighten it up so people don't laugh like Vanessa. All right, here we go. That's right. 
All my students' names were in the video. <laughs> that means I can't use these again, so I'm just making more work for myself, but it doesn't matter. Okay, girls, what are you going to do? Try and use what's given. QPS so we start off by saying in triangle QPS and triangle QRS. Do you have to say that? Yeah, you should, but I won't probably take it off you if you don't. Let's mark in what was given. So in a colour, that this one equals that one. So let's do that. So we've got in those triangles angle QPS equals angle QRS. Why? All right, now you need to do the rest. QS is a common side, so QS equals QS. All right. QS equals QS. Look, some people don't like to just write QS is common side. They really want to see something on the left and something on the right of the equals. So you can just say common side. You can just go common side. And that's fine. Or you can just write QS is a common side. Yeah. What else, girls? They've told us that SQ bisects angle PQR. So what do I know? What does bisect mean? It means it's a two-sided. It mean, no. It, yeah, so I'm going to put little dot there and little dot there. And how do I write this out? I go angle P equals angle. I'm going to go RQ. I'll go RQS. Reason. Why are you saying that? Because they told me that. SQ. No, SQ. The reason is by sex angle PQR and that's your reason that SQ by sex angle PQR okay so therefore do we have enough I've got three dots notice I've got three oh wait and the common side I didn't mark it so I've got three bits of information on the diagram in purple no 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 you've got one angle two angles and one side so therefore triangle QPS is congruent, girls make sure they're in order, QPS is dot arc blank, I'm describing the angles, dot arc blank is congruent to triangle QRS and the reason is angle angle side. Um, I might do one of those equal radii ones, I just have to move everything over a little bit, just let me see if I can do that, move this, Whoopsie, sorry. Um, actually, I like question B, 4B, the one that was... Oh, no, I did something like that already. I'm going to do question 3... No, question 3E. Who did it last night? Anyone? I think I'll do it now. Exercise 10.8, question 3E, it's got a circle bit in it, just in case anyone didn't get it done. Okay? Right, let me just write this down so I can get up to date. And then like well, you can always watch the video if you need to. I'll just pause. Oh, if I pause, problem is if I pause. Okay, exercise 10.8, question 3E. You're given that O is the centre of the circle and you have to prove that triangle OLM is congruent to triangle ONM. Any takers? Go, Laura Middleton. Well, <laughs> because um, OL equals ON because the radius, the e radius yeah, the very good. So we can say in triangle OLM and triangle ONM, that OL equals ON, and the way we write it, we just go equal radii of circle. And you know what? Just equal radii is good enough. Very good. Anyone else? So we've got, and I've marked it in purple. Can you see it? Guys? On the 90 degree angle, OM. One sec. Yep. All right, they didn't tell us that, but we can see the right angles in there now. Equal radii of circle. OL equals ON, equal radii of circle. Isn't it? The, if you want. Over there, that's all. Okay, what else? Come on. Angle OML equals angle OMN. Equals how much? 90 degrees. And that's given on the diagram. 
See, the question didn't actually say that this is perpendicular to that. The markings were on the diagram, so you can just say given. What else have we got? So I'll put them in purple. Oh, and there's a common side. Yes. So double dash on that. And Girls, I've got two. Oh, yeah, okay. OM is a common side or OM equals OM common side. Now, girls, this is not SAS. It's, it's not yeah, you've got a... Because you've got two sides, but you don't have the included angles. So it's definitely not SAS. And you only have one angle. And it's not AAS. All right? So it's RHS. So OLM is congruent to triangle ONM. Wait, I think I've got them in the O L M O N M. Yep. And the reason is they've both got a right angle. They've both got the hypotenuse. So you put one in or like yes. Because look, O L M is going along the hypotenuse and then to the right angle. So you're not putting it in alphabetical order. No, no, sorry, not in alphabetical order. I'm going in I put the first one whichever way I want. So you're putting and then the second one must match, match it. Yeah. yeah. I thought we had to put one in alphabetical order. Yeah. No well. You know, you can do the... No, you don't have to. It's just that if you do the first one in alphabetical order, it's sometimes easier. But you know what? The question should be written in the correct order. You know how it says prove that OLM is congruent to ONM? It's supposed to be in the right order. Okay, so... This is exercise 10.8, question 4G. JKLM is a rhombus. And you're given... That's what you're given. So you're given that JK. LM is a rhombus. You're also given that MN equals PK and you have to prove that triangle J, there's no J. <laughs> Where is the J in the top corner? Yes. Yeah, here. That J, that's a J up there. The JMN, can someone please pass me the white out from my bag? <laughs> that's all right. It's all right. Look, it's entertaining for those that are watching it. So prove, yeah, when you're in year 12, one of my videos. Okay, girls, prove that J, triangle JMN is congruent to triangle LKP. Okay, for those watching the video, pause the video and attempt the question and then you can restart when you're done. Everyone else in class, hopefully you're doing something. Good. Remember we were told that it's a rhombus. You are allowed to pull out any property of a rhombus that you know. All right, let's start. Let's do the given here. Sorry, girls. Let's do the given. Very good. Otherwise, you'll end up spending all this time trying to work out some other stuff. And maybe the given will give you a bit more. So let's do the given. MN equals PK. Put it in another color. So in triangle, JMN and triangle. LKP, shh, MN equals PK given. Okay, what else do you know? Whoever called out something, call it out again. JM is equal to AL. KL. JM equals KL. Why? Very good. JM equals KL. Opposite sides. Shh of rhombus are equal. Girls, you're all being recorded. What else? Come on, another property of a rhombus, please. Yeah, which angle? Yeah, you know how we've gone down the side with the double dash to the M to the N? Let's go down the side with the double dash. So equals angle K L. Sorry, L K P. No, as long as in the end, if you put the two triangles in the right order, that's the most important thing. All right, try to do it in the right order, but it's not, you know, not the end of the world. So it, that was L K P. So that equals angle L K P. Reason? It's a property, and I don't want you just to write property of rhombus. I want. Opposite angles of rhombus. Yeah, opposite angles of rhombus are equal. We need to do some with diagonal properties and all that. So let's put those little markings in, in a colour. So that one there equals this one there. And then you can see what the reason is. One minute.
So what have we got, girls? Therefore, triangle. Um, yes, J, M, N. Now we've gone along J, M, N, along the double dash side, along, then along the single dash side. So do the same along the double dash and then along the single dash. Is congruent to triangle L, K, P, and it was written in the right order. And the reason is S, A, S. Two sides are the same and the included angles equal. Good. I'll just pause. Okay, this is exercise 10.8, question 4L. You're told that EFG, sorry, EFGH is a rhombus, not EFGD. EFGH is a rhombus. I know it's not drawn very well. I'll try and... All right, so it's not drawn very well. You're just going to have to accept that. Yes. What are the properties of a rhombus? There. It's fixed. Here you go. There. All right. E, F, G, H is a rhombus. That looks better. And D, E equals um, D, G. You have to prove that triangle D, E, H. So this one down here is congruent to triangle... Sorry, D, E, H is congruent to triangle D, G, H. Any? All right, I'll pause the video. You can try it. Okay. So... Um, we're going to do the given first, yeah. okay? So DE equals DG given. Don't forget to mark it on the diagram, okay? We also could do the common side next. DH equals DH common side. Yeah. Don't you know the rules? All right, and we were told that E, F, G, H, the top shape there, is a rhombus. So rhombus has got e, four equal sides. E, H equals G, H. E, H equals G, H. Reason, equal sides of rhombus. And so, therefore, you can see you've marked S, S, S. Did you say opposite, in the other question, you said opposite sides? Angles. Yeah, opposite angles of rhombus are equal. Yeah, and I could have just said all sides of rhombus are equal. Uh, I need to know the, I need to learn. So D, D, E, H is congruent to triangle. So I've gone along the side with the single dash and then along the side with the triple dash, D, E, H. So you've got to do the same, D, G, H. <coughs> yeah, you can, but what's if it's wrong at the top? It should be right at the top, but in case it's not. You'd hope it's right. Now, I'm, I can't, oh no, I can. <laughs> Girls, it's page 11 of the booklet. Girls, I need to get through this. So, each pair, um, now this is congruence with numerical exercises. Now, we've told that these triangles are congruent. Um, this is just an introduction to what we're doing here. So, you've got to give me the test. Then you're going to name the congruent triangles in with vertices in matching order, and then hence find the value of the pronumeral there, like the missing pronumeral. Okay, so we're on page 11. So in the first triangle, girls, um, let's just put the markings on the sides that are equal. So we've got that this 12 is the same as that one. What else do we have? What else is equal? The 60s are equal. And then the 85s are equal. Well, no. What's my congruency test? I don't want full reasons. Just give me the test. If you were to... Yes. Yeah, so, but let's do it in order. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle... Now, I went from 60 to 85 degree angle to blank. So do it in order. It's congruent to triangle what? I need it in order. Yeah, because I'm going... Notice ABC goes from 60 degrees 85 blank. This is 60, 85 blank. Yeah. Reason? What did we say? A, A, yes. Girls, and is the 12 side in the correct position for both? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, hence, tell me what P equals. P and P, see how the 10's opposite the 60, so is the P. But now I need a reason. So P equals 10, giving a reason. This is the new bit now. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. 
No, you haven't done this before. No, no, you only so Shape, this one. Oh, okay. Oh, so, girls, oh, once you've proved that two triangles are congruent, of course, I'm not doing all the working out here. This is just a very quick introduction. Once you've proved that these two triangles are congruent by A, yes, I'm not going to make you list the five steps, all right? That's the last step. So, that, now I can say, therefore, P equals 10 reason because they're the corresponding or matching sides of congruent triangles. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Next one, B. Let's put in anything that's matching. All right, the 41s are the same. And the, 11. the 11. And the 6. Now, is the 41 between the 11 and the 6 in both of them? Yeah. Yes, yeah. so that's good. So triangle, let's just go alphabetical order for the first one, EFG. Now, how are we doing EFG? We're going from 40, we're going along the, the side with the 1 dash and along the side with no dashes. Go along the side with 1 dash and then no dashes. UTV. Reason. What's... So I've gone along the side with one dash, then no dashes. No, not... Yes, it must be sides and the included angle. SAS. Now, therefore, girls, notice that the 9 is opposite the 41 and here the U minus 4 is opposite the 41. So we can say U minus 4 is 9. Why? Because corresponding... Yeah, we're going to in a minute. Sides of congruent triangles. So therefore, u equals what? Um, nine plus four. Which is thirteen. Okay, girls. Now, once you've done your proof, later we're going to be doing the whole proof. Okay, we're we're just introducing the concept okay. here first. Okay, try um, C and D. You okay, girls? So, of course, in a normal proof, you'd have to write them out fully. All right, so if you can try C and D, please. What I'll do, I'm going to finish this video off, because you've got five or six days now. I'm going to make another video later this afternoon, which will continue through the booklet. I need to get more done. We need to catch up, and then I'm going to set you some exercises from exercise 10.9. All right, I'd like to start the next chapter next I'd like to start the year 10 textbook next week, all right? Okay, and this one, what have we got? The, yeah, actually, no, we don't because the 3x the angle, is yeah. not... Yeah, so we've got the right angle, we've definitely got the hypotenuse, and we've got another side, this 20, with that 20. Okay, so just be careful, that 20 does not match with the 3x, the 20 is the same as the other 20. So triangle LMN is congruent to triangle... Now, I went along the 21 side and along the 20 side. Actually, you don't have a 21 side. Why is that X? That... Yes. I thought X said Y. Well, like girls, X. or we're going along the side with no dashes on it and then along the side with the double dash. So go along the side with no dash and double dash. Uh -huh. Y, Z, X. X. Reason? RHS. So therefore, 3x equals, well, it's the side with no dashes. It equals 21 reason corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Okay? And therefore, x is 7. Next one. All right, let's just mark what's the same. 54 with 54. Then we've got the, I'll just put two double dashes, 78 with the 78. Now, notice where the side 16 is here. It's opposite the 54 and it's opposite the 54. So those two triangles, what are we going to go? I, I, J, K. Now, I is the I, J, K. Well, I've gone along the side with 16 and then to the angle with the 54. So it's EDC. Actually, I've gone 54 blank. No, no, I've gone blank 78, 54. That's better. Blank 78, 54. Blank 78, 54. E, C, D. Okay? So go by angles if you can. Blank 7854. 
blank 7854 reason. Yep, it's AAS. And so, so what matches? See, the 2E minus 7 is opposite the blank angle. Yep, be careful with that. 2E minus 7 is opposite the blank angle, or it's between the 78 and the 54. So what's between 78 and 54 here? It's 13. Or what's opposite the blank angle? It's 13. So we write corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Is that screen? No. Of congruent triangles. So therefore, 2E is 20 and E is 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going to. So at the moment, this is just an introduction. We're still going to have to prove um, a little bit later in the lesson, actually in this afternoon's video that you get or tomorrow whenever I make it, you, we will actually have to prove they're congruent right down the five steps. And then the last bit will say, well, this side equals that one or this angle equals that. Now, yeah. All right, question two. Now. But girls, you'll see it soon. I just want to do the easy ones for you first. Yeah. So let's see each of these two triangle, pairs of triangles is congruent. Girls, we're actually starting exercise 10.9 here. I'm actually doing the first few questions of it. I might not do all of these now. I'll just do one of them or two instead of doing them all. So each pair of triangles below is congruent. Name the congruent triangles with the vertices in matching order. State the yeah, test. The girls, um, let's see what we've got. The eights are the same. I don't think we the tens are the same double dashes and the, five, yeah. and the fives with the triple dash it's got to be SSS so triangle PQRS QRS is congruent to triangle QRS is going well look well this one doesn't have angles yeah, it's going five, it, or it's going down the triple dash side, then the double dash side. Go down the triple dash, then the double dash. It's G H F. What's the reason? S S S. Yeah, because they're your purple three markings. S S S. Now we can say we're trying to find the value of the pronumeral G. Now G lies is the angle opposite the double dash, or it's the angle between the single and the triple dash. Let's go opposite the double dash. G equals 83. Now, we don't say corresponding sides of congruent triangles. We say angles. corresponding angles. See, we've proven that the triangles are congruent. In other words, that they're identical. Corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Okay. May as well do the next one. Because I'll just do the other video later. Do you want to do the next one? Be careful. Just mark stuff really carefully. You've got the... The eights are the same and the sevens. Now, is the 60 in the right position? It's between and it's between seven and eight. So that looks okay. Triangle DEF is congruent to triangle. Let's go in order. I went along the eight side to the 60 degree angle and then along the seven side. No. I, okay, girls. I did stop and restart the video, so there's probably half a sentence somewhere and then I've restarted another one. But D, E, F goes along the side with the single dash to the 60 degree angle and then, sorry, along the side with the single dash to the 60 degree angle and then along the side with the double dash. So we've got to go along the side with the single dash to the 60 degree angle, then along the side with the double dash. So it's Y, X, Z. Reason, why is it congruent? S, A, S. Two sides and the included angle are equal. Therefore, 5y, now 5y is opposite the double dash side. 55. Yes, 5y is 55. And then y is on the five. So Or you could have done 5y is between the side with the single dash and no dash, between the single dash and no dash. Corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Y equals 11. Yeah. yeah, and so y is 11. And y is 11. Okay? Oh, it's all right. Okay, we're going to go over the page. Okay, on the next page, 2C. You can just try those quickly, and then I'll just run through the answers. So in the first triangle, we've gone A, B, C. 
you better not be yeah. recording me. Um, a, B, C, we went along the side with the single dash, along the side with the double dash. So it's K, I, J. What's the reason? S, A, S. Now we have to find what K is. So therefore K plus 14, that's opposite the double dash side. It equals 23. Or you can say it's between the single dash and the no dash side. Corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Therefore K is 9. And you can try the last one now. But was that other one okay? Was it SAS? Or did we have an AAS? Looks like it. And the last one, you've got right angles. You've got the hypotenuse and you've got the 12 side. So triangle LMN is congruent to triangle. I've gone along the hypotenuse and then down the 12 side. So it has to be VUT, RHS. So therefore 9U minus 1, that is between the side with the right angle and the blank. Actually, that's going to help. That 9U minus 1 is between the blank side and the 13. So it's this 62. one. It's 62. Reason corresponding angles of congruent triangles. So therefore, 9U is 63 and U is 7. Okay, girls, um, that's the end of this video. I'll be creating another video this afternoon. <laughs> which will have question three on it. And wait, Vanessa Zeno's got to say something. <laughs> and, like, and, and page 13 is on the video tonight. Here, Vanessa, go. Thank you for joining us today. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, everyone, say bye. 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 Okay.